This is a placeholder song, a placeholder song Until we replace the old song This is a placeholder song for Is This Anything? Well, you sound a little webcam right now. You yeah. sound a little... Ah, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I'm like you're in a room. Yeah. I am in a room. That's what it sounds uh, like. For some yeah. reason, we like to... A podcast, you're supposed to sound oh, like you're no. in a... In a mattress. <laughs> Hang on. I'm going to grab my other mic. Winston Key coming to you quietly from this mattress. This is Jared uh, Berenstein recording yeah. from that foam pit in the kids' jamboree party. <laughs> That's Ooh. where all podcasts should really happen. <laughs> just underneath Sounds there. Sounds amazing in here. Uh, this is Rob Ryan. I've just been committed and put into a padded room. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I should put on my glasses. Let's throw it over to throw it over to Jarrett, who is at the bottom of a foam pit. Foam pit, that's right. Yeah, are you com- are you cozy where you are, Rob? Because I am I am feeling nice. My Ooh, arms are boy. strapped around my chest uh in a Got street jacket. Brett. And Hello, hello. I, I am giving myself a warm hug. Hi, mm-hmm. How about you? Mm-hmm. Kristen. This is better. You are Hi. coming from inside a nebulous cloud. A <laughs> nebulous <laughs> cloud. It's very soft. Brett, you're right on time. <laughs> Sorry Nobody about that. was waiting. Little, little trouble parking. How's it going? Mm, going good. Brett <laughs> is angry. Rob's doing a podcast. NBR podcast. Oh, <laughs> I was, you know what? I, that is, you're nailing it because yeah, that is exactly the first on. thing I thought. <laughs> and Brett's joining us from intergalactic space. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry for being so late. I am Cold, incredibly stressed space. out uh, mm. from the parking situation. Now, deep Brett, breath, I understand that breath. you have a new line of therapy puppets that you have been marketing to dogs with PTSD. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what. Cool. The Thank is. you for that. <laughs> You're an excellent guest. It's the most important guest. rule, though. Once Always again. just say yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Instead of yes and, I'm and like yes. yes what? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, my I'm god! I'm not stressed out, but sorry, I was late. You stressed hey, out? I'm yeah. not stressed out. I was that was that was part of the bit. Oh, I see. I'm not stressed I'm, out. Are you stressed? What's the matter? <laughs> I'm not actually in a mattress right now. That was also part of my bit. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not in a padded room. Oh, sh- okay. This mm-hmm. changes everything. Cancel those flowers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everybody. Let's talk. Let's get into it. There's a I lot here. A we lot got a of big questions. Old, we got a big old piece of meat that we got to cut into. You guys just did two crazy shows. You did the Chevalier in Boston, which was how many people? That was 800 people, I think. 800 yeah. people. Then you yeah. did the Gramercy Theater in New York. I have, I just, I want to know, I don't know anything about it. How did the shows go? Tell me about them. Uh, Rob, you want to take this one, buddy? Uh, we had, I mean, th- this conversation should span more because I know that we had a podcast while we were on the road, but we, this is our first day back from the tour, so we have, you know, the entirety of that thing is, is finished. Um, mm-hmm. I had a blast with Jarrett. Um, Jarrett got to know more intimately Tor Rob, which is just a delight. A stone-cold delight, as <laughs> I mentioned yeah, before. The cover. I don't know what comes so over great. me, but I just, I feel the need to just, I want to make joy... <laughs> I want to make people laugh. And I think that like comics, comics hear like jokes all the time. Hey, you know, they're always being witty. So I I feel like because there's, there's so much of that, but I feel like there's a Darth of just like silly, practical jokes and funniness and that. I just love doing that because I just want to make comics laugh. For anybody at home, if you imagine any time where we are like truly giggling our, our, our asses off, uh, on this podcast where we are just being so goofy. It doesn't like maybe it started in a logical place, but we have gone <laughs> off the 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 rails. That's Rob 24 seven on tour. <laughs> That's where I like to be. And the more <laughs> I get made fun of for it, the more I just lead into it. It's super funny. One bit I, that I want to say that, uh, that Jarrett made me, I'm still thinking about, <laughs> it just it tickled me so much. <laughs> 
is we're in Boston, and Jarrett, if you if you listen to the podcast, you know that Jarrett has a bit about how he loves the Boston accent, and so that loosely came up, and so we just started. We were just doing Boston accents constantly. Now, keep in mind, our Boston accent Not was great. never a Boston accent. Not great. It was consistently just a bad Mark Wahlberg impression, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's what all of our Boston accents. Just Accurate. very breathy. Just yeah, all right. <laughs> just, hey, kid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was it. <laughs> And so towards the end of this, the show's already over, I'm pretty sure. And uh, He's pretty sure the show's over. I'm pretty pretty sure the show's over. Yeah, we're on our way back. We might have been on our way back to the hotel, but Steve was still on stage. We're not not 100% on that. (laughs) And Jarrett comes up with, uh, what was the name? Fantastic Fantastic Sam's. We we had passed by a Fantastic Sam's, which is a haircut place. And so I thought that that might fit really well into the Boston accent. So I was like, hey, kid, when's the last time you got a haircut? When's the last time you got a haircut, kid? I was like, yeah, it's been a while, man. You know it's been a while. You should go to Fantastic Sam's. Get your fucking haircut. I was like, no, you I don't want to go to Fantastic. Fantastic. I, you know, I don't want to go to Fantastic Sam's. You know why I don't want to go to Fantastic Sam's? Why, why don't you want to go to fan- Fantastic Sam's? Because you know, you know Sam fucked my sister, so I don't want to go to Fantastic but Sam's, okay? But you just fucking Fantastic haircuts. You got to go fucking, you got to go I know. Fantastic Sam's. Dude, I already told you. I already told you why I don't want to go to Sam's, because Sam fucked my sister. Why don't you keep well, bringing it up? When he you fucked your sister, you did a fantastic job. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> and then we just fake fought for what he said. <laughs> And he did a fantastic job. Like, God, it was just the funniest thing. I loved it so much. Ah, uh, that was it. I remember that one. That was really cool. Oh, there's another one. So, uh, um, part of the thing that made bits fun on the road is if they annoyed Steve. And so, <laughs> at one point, we're just like in the car trying to figure out, like, oh, we're gonna stop for lunch. Like, how's everybody doing? You know, blah blah blah. And Steve offered up something to the effect of, like, I'm good for food right now. I got a bagel in my belly and a sandwich in the fridge. <laughs> and for some reason, the lilt of that felt so much like a song to me that I just kind of tr- made it into like a like a country song. <laughs> I got a bagel in my belly and a sandwich in my fridge. Bagel in my belly and a sandwich in my fridge. Bagel in my belly and a sandwich in my fridge. Bagel in my belly and a sandwich in my fridge. <laughs> And I can not like that. How did that annoy him? <laughs> oh, oh my god! I can imagine it so well. <laughs> I can, the, the part of the joy for me is imagining how much Steve didn't like that. <laughs> he's trying to work. He's texting. He's emailing. <laughs> and every oh. once in a while. Oh my god! Oh no! You remember uh, this bit that that uh, um, uh, Steve hated? was uh, one time we were doing merch sheets and you know you do cash you write down oh i sold jared's <laughs> shot glasses i sold this so I at one point one. i wrote j o s b 10 dollars and steve is a little bit of an out loud thinker sometimes so uh steve is counting merch inventory and he goes somebody wrote j o s b 10 and i was like <laughs> well <laughs> But Let's did he say see. something like, what does that mean? Yeah, or... I think he said, what does that mean? Or there was just a pregnant pause. And I was like, hmm, what could that mean? <laughs> so that was, and then an ongoing joke, like Jared and I were laughing at that a lot. Uh, and then just throughout the tour, it was something we would figure something out and I would go, now if we could just figure out what J O S B ten dollars means <laughs> and not not even a giggle <laughs> from Steve. <laughs> Makes me think that Steve was never a waitress. <laughs> I really got that shirt. I think that's fair. I think it's fair. <laughs> but I wonder if all the O's the hell <laughs> <laughs> possibly on my hamburger that starts with oh <laughs> i just wanted to add one more thing about this bagel in my belly bit which is that at some point i don't know how it happened people started calling out different genres <laughs> a- as though it was like a game on whose line yeah <laughs> so i would go oh hip-hop okay here we go I got a bagel in my belly in my exact same song exact same song <laughs> and I mean, I'm- it's like Ooh, I have to jazz say, standard. Here we go. I got a big little brother. To Steve's defense, Steve is constantly working, and we are, yeah. uh, you oh, know, we're doing idiots around. Him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're doing work as well. We're doing the driving and and stuff, but it it we have less occupied minds. I would say. Mm-hmm. Does Steve ever come up with his own bits, or is he too oh, yeah. like busy for that? Oh yeah, 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 but they're rare, you know. But then okay. every once in a while, they'll just like poke through. Like one time we were on the road together and. And um, we were trying to get to an ATM so we could deposit some of the cash from our merch sales. And we drove up to this ATM and it said that it was like out of commission or something. And I was the one who was driving. So I was like, oh, this ATM is not working right now. And then Brett said, this ATM does not work 
ATM. <laughs> and Steve goes, yeah, ass to mouth. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I also remember when we were, uh, we did a, the Looney Bin in Arkansas and the crowd was just, I don't want to shit on the crowd, but they were just dumb. They were so dumb. We were talking the next day about how dumb they were. And Steve goes, you know what Arkansas state motto is? Arkansas. <laughs> 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 it made me laugh so hard. That's great. <laughs> Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, just last night, actually, he came into, uh, we were at the Gramercy Theater, had a beautiful, uh, nice big dressing room, and uh, we were all sitting. We've been in it for a while. I think we've already eaten dinner there. And Steve comes in and he goes, guys. I just noticed there is an entire other dressing room that you should be in. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> just that live is really funny. Uh, maybe we should save all these stories for a Patreon episode or something like that, because I'm sure you guys just have uh, tons to tell. And I don't want to be rude to our, our guest, Kristen Key. No. Well, uh, then stop it. He doesn't care. <laughs> already <laughs> has. I'm, I'm offended. I'm surprised I'm still here. Bigger than my belly. It's my Kristen, you got a guitar. Why aren't you accompanying us on this? Come on. Uh, Chevalier Theater, awesome show. Gramercy was probably my second or third favorite of the tour. Just the, what was the... your sixth favorite? Break <laughs> <laughs> them all. <laughs> How does this, it compare to Carnegie content. Hall? How much did you have to practice, practice, practice to play that theater? <laughs> just, just one practice for Harrisburg. Mm, 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 definitely. <laughs> Uh, the, the layout of the theater is so cool. And it, it really sort of like solidifies the laughs, like concentrates them really well. Uh, my fiance, Kirsten, was there, which was really exciting for me. And she got to bring her friend. I saw Hannibal Burris record his album there. And so it was so dope to be like, I saw a comic that I respect doing this stage. And now I'm doing this stage, you know? That's cool. Just 10 out of 10. So, so much That's fun. how I feel every time I walk on stage after you guys. Oh, oh, you Lee. fucking loser. <laughs> Higher <laughs> standards. Yes. Get better Lee. heroes. I've got a baby in that now. <laughs> <laughs> so sweet. You know what's so funny? Uh, uh, and I was going to ask this last night, but I guess I, I kind of have the answer now. I have personally never felt any attachment to like physical spaces. And I know that a lot of artists do, and it comes up a lot. They're like, this is where the stones first did whatever. And I could not and do like, I care just could not less. care less. It is <laughs> unbelievable to me. I'm like, who, this is a smelly dump. I don't give a shit about this, these bricks and this wall and like they all they all kind of blur together to me and then it, the history i'm just like they pass through here the stones don't remember this fucking place why should i you know like no you know what i mean like they probably it's like whatever we came in here once and you're still talking about that it was in 72 and you're what the, the happy what the fuck's the matter with you <laughs> I don't understand the tour dynamic. He's the happy one. I'm just always so up. Everywhere. Until you talk about where you're playing. Oh, this is awesome. This shitty theater? Oh. That's just his internal monologue. Rob on the outside would be like, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> He's got layers. It's like happy yeah. on the outside and just dark in the center. Oh, I'm happy on the outside. <laughs> Rob wants oh. to tell every venue, like, congratulations, <laughs> David Bowie pulled out in your dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care. He doesn't care. I did a show. I forget where it was, but I was. It was a a, a theater. Um, I think 500 people. And I was the only opener. So I had so much stuff to do for merch and stuff like that. And I'm trying to load it in. And this guy is like, oh, this way, this way, this way. And then he brings me into this hall and he's like, in Dumb and Dumber, this is the train where they filmed the train station. And I'm like holding a box. And I was like, <laughs> why did, uh, great, thank you. Uh, where do I put this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, thought of a, I thought of a dumb Rob bit from uh, the Chevalier. First of Ooh. all, these large venues, I got to say, and it's a little bit of a double edged sword. Like sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. It's so nice to have there's like this massive staff. Like it makes you really feel like you're doing something cool and important that there's like half a dozen people all running around and they're all people are helping you. Some people are doing their own thing, you know, blah, blah, blah. And we're being shown the green room and then we're being led from the green room to the stage so we can be shown around the space on the way 
from the green room to the stage, there is, for no reason that I can figure out, a model of a boat. Like a little toy, you know, like in a glass case, you know, like about that big or something. And Rob takes a look at it and he goes, ah, this theater used to be a boat. Oh. <laughs> I can just picture it, too. I just I think Rob's going to say something that makes sense. <laughs> Poignant. <laughs> Absurd. <laughs> but also, when I do a bit, I want to make sure everybody hears me so I get so I know I got the register. Rob does not care. He just yeah, like, drops I it off. Definitely. And if it gets picked up, all the better. But if not, eh, no worries. You know. <laughs> I'm so glad you like that. Thank you. Kristen. Welcome, Kristen Key. Kristen <laughs> Key. What's going on with you? Yet? How are you doing? Okay, here we, we go. Yeah. Hello. You can check Hello. that in now. Yeah, we'll cut all that stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard you just got back from tour. How was it? Oh, oh did we? God, so much fun. <laughs> here are a hundred bits oh. that Rob did. <laughs> uh, Kristen, what is going on with you? Uh, I've been touring a bit myself, a little bit. Ooh, uh, not boring. So Ooh, <laughs> nobody cares. My <laughs> opener did this hilarious bit uh, last week where he tested positive for COVID. So, oh, that's, that's hilarious. a good gag. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then it was the just, only correct it was response. Just, it was just <laughs> elastic snake, snakes or something, right? <laughs> no, no, he tested positive for COVID. Oh. Um, my whole family had COVID, so uh, I've had a very COVIDy last couple weeks. I was actually supposed to see my mom and dad uh, on my way to Oklahoma City. That loony bin. I was supposed to fly into Tulsa, grab dad's car and drive over. And my mom called and was like, oh, hey, this is the night before I'm supposed to fly. She's like, oh, hey, just want to let you know your brother's here and he has allergies. And I know you're kind of a, you know, I was like, what, what are his symptoms? Oh, She's like, allergies. I'm like, <laughs> you know, what kind of allergies? She's like, well, he had a fever on Tuesday. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like anyway, so he tested positive. I didn't end up flying out. He's a, he has an allergy to not having COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really allergic to it. Super fun. So I dodged, Sorry I dodged, to hear the, that. dodged the COVID bullet, but everybody lived. So oh, that's good. You know, so now we can we can make fun of them. Yeah. Yay! Yay. 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 I'm so yeah. sorry. Do you need an opener. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're <laughs> Have all of these stories made you think, oh my God, I desperately got to be on the road with Rob. <laughs> like that is, <laughs> well, what a delight that sounds like. That's not annoying at all. No, it's and everybody everybody was fine eventually, you know, mm -hmm. but whatever. Wow. So does so you said your opener got COVID and so was this like were you on the road with them already? Were you did you did you get like a text message last minute like can't do the show I got COVID? No, we did all the shows together. He tested positive directly after. So we think he got oh, it at the show. I was working yeah. with a guy named Miles Weber. He was my, mm -hmm. my the middle act. And so we've done a couple gigs this year where we share a condo together um because we're both vaxxed and we trust each other mm -hmm. and we wore masks in the in the clubs and everything and uh the opener wasn't wearing his mask and we were like cool your choice or whatever mm -hmm. um and then and then he ended up getting pot you know Jesus Christ. Oy, anyway. boy, boy. but we don't oh, so you yeah. don't know the opener you don't know if they were vaccinated or anything like that yeah, i think he's vaccinated he was vaccinated mm -hmm. but he got it i don't think he's i think he's doing okay with it okay. yeah that's um, good <clears throat> it's just a weird weird time next up is a cruise ship on 9 11 so what could possibly go wrong Ooh. yikes yeah yeah <laughs> so Ooh, here we very go. Very exciting. Very yeah, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. I was thinking of getting a uh, Brazilian vax, and I, that's where <laughs> you get. I think you get it all over. Are you it's all the code? I don't. I don't know how it works. <laughs> Just leave a strip. All I, all I, all I have is Brazilian vax, but I can't. Yeah. Like, leave I leave all of your pubic hair, but you can't catch COVID through your pubic. <laughs> through your, your pubes. Your pubes. <laughs> there you go. As long as you're uh, breathing through your pubes, you're fine. <laughs> well, that um, is exciting, Kristen. I hope you don't get COVID on the cruise ship. Thank you. It's like It's definitely it, not it's like fine. the number one place that people have gotten COVID. So <laughs> right. I wouldn't worry about They're it. They're saying like six to eight passengers per trip every voyage on every cruise ship right now are the numbers. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. You should, you, see you, that? Should, you should say, hey, look under your seat. If you've got a, if you've got, <laughs> got a bouncy ball, it means you've got, you're one of those six passengers. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm going to assume if the audience is quiet that night, it's because they've all they've all ceased COVID. to be. Yeah. <laughs> they all Just, died of COVID. <laughs> Fred, I thought you were going to be like, check under your seats. There's a COVID test under there. Go ahead and take that. <laughs> I was joking with Leedy the other day uh, about uh, the idea that uh, uh, like a major event that affects everybody, you're like, oh, of course. Oh, first 
first my car breaks down, then 9-11 happens. I mean, of course this happens to me. It's like, or, or doing that with the pandemic. Like, first this happens, then the pandemic. Of course, me. Yeah. You know, my <laughs> luck. <laughs> I like ending that list with another trivial thing. So it's like, I lock my keys in the car. COVID. I got a splinter. Like, what else <laughs> can go wrong? Thanks a lot, God. <laughs> Only me. <laughs> got a stain on my favorite shirt. The Holocaust happened. <laughs> my favorite show got canceled. Bullshit. <laughs> Worst things always happen to me. This is actually very, like, this is a little, uh, a cute little story about how funny my mom is. Like, very naturally funny. When my dad passed away, after everything had sort of like been handled, me and my mom and my sister decided to go out to get sushi. And my mom and my sister were like, let's just get some sake and just like get a little drinky drink, you know, have a little, have a nice time, you know? So we go to the sushi place. My mom goes, do you have a menu for sake? And they go, we don't sell sake. And she goes, okay, cool, thanks. The waiter goes away and she goes, what else can go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I never heard anybody say sake. I, I, I mean, maybe it's just like Midwest. Oh, like, I don't know if I'm mispronouncing Oh, uh, Jared's a uh, douche. <laughs> so, uh, how do you, how do you pronounce the, the, the what... Uh, Oh, that movie with the kid, Ralph Macho. Oh, you what, mean what um, type of martial film? arts did he <laughs> do? You mean <laughs> film? <laughs> I believe the film <laughs> that you are referring to is the Karate Kid. Right, the Karate drinking yeah, sake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He he is he is engaged to an Asian woman. I'm going to give him a pass. Mm -hmm. yes. She is not Japanese. No, she is Korean. <laughs> but I get in sliding in under the bar there. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce sake. Sake? Sake? It's sake. sake. Is it sake? It's, I, it's, I think Japanese is sake. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. How do uh, how does everybody sake? how do Americans pronounce it? Is it sake? Sake. 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 Gotcha. I've always heard. But sake, I'm also yeah. from Texas, where it's like Dosaki's beer and cement trucks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dosakis. <laughs> That's that's two sakis if you're ordering in Spanish and Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I feel like saying sake is what I hear a lot of New Mexican people who are not like Hispanic at all when they're like ordering at a Mexican food restaurant. They're like, I'd like the enchiladas and, and then they go right back into the normal accent. It's just kind of weird when you try to go too far. You try too yeah. hard. With one word. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's very similar to what's oh, going on you? in Pakistan these days. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like Jared, a bad and then Steen. You chose to pronounce why. my Jewish name Italian? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. I love it. I love it. What? It's like sake, you know? Uh, a bad and Steen. Hey. A bad and Hey. <laughs> I All guess I'd rather you do an Italian pronunciation as opposed to try to do like a Jewish voice like Jared Berenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Always Berenstein. 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 <laughs> I don't think that's a Jewish pronunciation so much as a Yogi Bear pronunciation. <laughs> hey, Jared Berenstein. <laughs> Let's go get some of these picnic biscuits. <laughs> I uh, recently was uh, helped my dad um, after he got uh, a double bypass surgery and he's doing well, but I've been That's taking great. care of sorting out his, um, his medication for him. And I was like, keeping an eye to see if he could do it on his own. And he was like messing stuff up. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this for a little while longer uh, for you. And he was like, Hey, you know, uh, I did this for 10 years for your mother and she survived. And I was like, no, actually dad, she didn't. <laughs> Where is she now? Good That's for you to remind is... him. You needed that reminder. Yeah, that I was, was like, I wouldn't it might bring be up fault. the fact that mom's dead or <laughs> accuse you of it in any way. But if you're going to try and prove a point, you can't say, <laughs> and she survived and expect me to not correct you there. <laughs> Where is Mom. <laughs> Brett, I think the appropriate response would have been, she is! Oh, what? <laughs> she did? <laughs> we gotta get her. She's, she's, we gotta get her from the cemetery. Oh the my God. weirdest episode of Punked. But Brett, what's going on with you, man? How have you been? 
Uh, I'm good. Uh, big news for me is that uh, Lady and I have now announced that we are dating. Uh, so that's pretty boo. exciting. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't know the cue. boo is. Yeah, this is why we <laughs> announced it on SDSC, Jared. Shut up, Brett. Okay, here's what happens. <laughs> Shut up, Brett. <laughs> I'm so excited. So no, Brett announced on, on the internet that he was dating Lady, or but one of them did. I don't know. And I was like, like, like there was a status change to like in a relationship. I was like, holy shit, that's so official. And I commented that um, I didn't know if I was happy for them or if I just wanted to sit down with Brett and give him a strongly worded lecture, um, to which Brett commented, um, it was terrifying. It was the most haunting melody, um, which I hadn't written yet. And so I now I wrote the melody of my sit down talk with Brett. Ooh. That's All right. right. This is for you, Brett. So shut up and listen. <laughs> <laughs> Brett. I hear that you're seeing Lady. There's a few things that you gotta hear from me. She's a talented girl, so smart and pretty, but she's got a little fetish and it's comedy. Well, she likes you, cause you're pretty funny, and we all know she's not after your money, but it seems hunky dory. But if you're mean to Lady, it'll be a different story. You'll be haunted by the ghost of lesbians past the front door. <laughs> oh, SDSC will kick your ass. You go on stage, the audience will boo, and you'll get Taylor Swifted by Lady's Doodles. <laughs> Ooh, this is fun. So, Brett, no pressure. Just treat her like a queen, because she's not just some girl. She's our lady. She deserves the best. And if that's what you got, then you've got my blessings. If you don't buckle up, you'll be haunted <laughs> by the ghost of Lesbians passing everyone on SDSC will kick your ass every time you go on stage. The audience will boo and you'll get haunted by Lady's Doodles. <laughs> you know that she can draw, so if you mess this up, you'll be looking at a bunch of cartoons of you doing butt stuff. So <laughs> treat her right, say nice things, and give her a handmade sweater, cuz. You know you guys are actually really cute together And everyone is rooting for you Cause you're both cute and it's kind of sweet So cheers, cheers to Brett and Lee. That's your song Aww. Yay! Hey, Thank you, Kirsten Fantastic! That's uh, hilarious and adorable You did this live on your show on Friday And I immediately got messages saying You gotta watch Kristen is doing a song about you it was um, creepy that you weren't there, either one of you. And I was like, here's this love song <laughs> slash lecture I wrote for this couple that aren't here. <laughs> That's so but nice. um, now Lady uh, and I, we watched it. We loved it. Uh, but Lady had some issues. She, had, she took some issues with it. Uh, and she started working on a rebuttal song, uh, which I was, I was helping her. Uh, you know, produce and and uh, and do some audio stuff with. We were gonna make a music video. We haven't, but the song is pretty much complete. Lady, do you want to play the song, or do you want to wait for the music oh, video? Uh, you should play the song because I don't have. Okay. A <laughs> I've never oh, been okay, rebutted yeah, sure. before. This is oh, great. Yeah. Ooh, very well, exciting. I mean, this it's rebut stuff. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Kristen's never tried rebut stuff before, but <laughs> we'll see. I'm open minded. You don't know. <laughs> All righty, here, here we go. Let me get it queued up, and then I will screen share. Wrote a song together. You God, butterflies. It. He gets most of the credit. <laughs> I had nothing to do with this. I just made sure the audio levels were right. Hmm. Then who wrote the song? Okay. So this is uh, this is Leedy's response to that um, in appreciation of. Thank you, Kristen, looking out for me. It means a lot, but eventually I will have to come clean and give up my disguise. No one needs to protect me from threat or any guys. Because you see, the one thing that people do not know is I'm a scary, badass bitch who's got a killer flow. A little bit draw fast cause I'll throw hands and I'll annihilate the witch I'll burn him black and light him up and set his balls ablaze Then go out for Dairy Queen and be totally unfazed I don't need a guardian or lesbians from your I got manly on a leash, yeah he's begging me for more Your protection is adorable, for that I can applaud But ask yourself a little question, how can you protect a god? Oh shit! <laughs> please, please, I'm sorry, don't hurt me You're so strong How are you so strong? So, hail! hail. <laughs> I think 
Kristen, could you protect you should, God? <laughs> I think you should probably write a song telling Leedy that she needs to be careful with me. I know. <laughs> Don't you dare hurt Look him, Look out. You bitch. She says she's a god. <laughs> Gosh. He is uh, precious cargo. You hear me, lady? <laughs> <laughs> if you hurt our sweet angel boy, we'll kill you. <laughs> there That's you go. Awesome. The rebuttal to the rebuttal will be the next song. <laughs> oh, my God. What a stone cold delight. <laughs> was. And I will keep repeating that until it's a thing. <laughs> uh, we have, uh, Lady and I have been using Stone Cold as a, a qualifier Everywhere. for, for, yeah. Hell yeah. Tons I of start yeah. trends. That's what Jarrett's do. <laughs> Hell yeah. I start trends. Start trends. That's what That's Jarrett's, what Jarrett's do. do. Look at me now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, that is Stone Cold catchy. <laughs> yeah, you're damn right. It's, I mean, it's no bagel in my belly and sandwich in my fridge. <laughs> it will do. Should we get to bits? Should we get to jokes? I think we should anymore? do some bits. Do any more stories I do want to say congratulations, you guys. It is like oh, the thanks. cutest thing that's ever happened to the social distancing social club oh. world. Like everybody, it's like, oh my god, it's like, it's like Benifer or something. And so <laughs> I was really enjoying the the combination of names people came up with, um, Gordruck, and I came up with Bleedy. <laughs> that was like, the most romantic. I like bleedy. Bleedy, bleedy, bleedy great. Yeah. We well, uh, b- b- long before we were dating, uh, I was like, Leedy, you should uh, go as Halloween uh, on Halloween. You should go as Bleedy Corbin and just have blood running down your face all the time. Mm, uh, like so I feel like it, Bleedy now has ruined the the surprise yeah. of that. But yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> all right, well, let's get some bleedy. bits, y'all. Our order today is Rob, Jarrett, Kristen, Brett. All right. Ooh, Rob, All Jarrett, right. Kristen, Brett. Rob, Jarrett, Kristen, Brett. All right. <laughs> I've got some weird ones. I don't know how serious any of these are. Uh, so let's just see what, what you guys think. Um, okay. <clears throat> starting off. Starting off goofy. Uh, oh, with a er- weird sound coming Yeah. In. yeah I think your mic's the little. Hold on. Yeah. Th- it was once you started holding the, the, um, oh, the phone. Different. To the to the computer, I think that was what, what was doing it. Oh, was there a little bit of like an electromagnetic feedback? Yeah, I think yeah, so. that's exactly okay. what it was. I'll leave it right there. Okay. Um, when the Earth, uh, when the Earth, uh, oh, sorry, when there is like Earth-shattering news that the paper must print, stop the presses. Uh, when the gym's about to close for the night, stop the presses. Uh, when the Panini station is no longer available, stop the presses. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, My you favorite say, part. Rob, you can just say you don't want to go first next time. <laughs> My favorite part is that there was no twist. <laughs> I was like, it's Rob. There's going to be some <laughs> angle. It's gonna be, he's always going to subvert my expectations. And by not subverting my expectations, he subverted my expectations. <laughs> That's idea number one. <laughs> um, let me know if you got anything for that. <laughs> well, I have so many ideas, but let's hear idea number two just in case <laughs> it's better. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Um, this was uh, something that I had whispered to uh, Jared actually on tour, and I got to say on stage once too. Um, you know, uh, I don't even know if this is a seed or something, but. Uh, a uh you know talking to a lady and she's like oh i'm so embarrassing i have this cold sore and then you go do the carpets match the drapes (laughs) 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 i don't know where that goes (laughs) doesn't go anywhere (laughs) uh i mean I think there's, I think that's the nugget. We just need like the dressing on the front and the back ends. You know what I mean? You know, like uh, nuggets have dressing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I think these, I think I've done mixing these metaphors. I think we might be ready. <laughs> Go I was the still oven. on the first one. Wait, like, like, like if there was a twist, I was mm-hmm. thinking it was going to be like, if, you know, if a seamstress gets kidnapped, it stopped the dresses. You know, um, so I thought it was gonna be like, poison, it's like stop of- the blesses. Yeah. <laughs> when you get out of therapy, stop the presses. Never mind. Ooh, <laughs> like that. yeah. That's good. Yeah. Really yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. <the> <laughs> mm. That's excellent. Yes, yes, yes. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this one, this idea also is missing the front and back of what you, we all know nuggets have. And so. <laughs> 
I want to know. I want to know what's the justification. You know, we need like, the arms and legs of the nugget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the nugget, like you know. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, it's like, what's the purpose of the joke? Are you trying mm-hmm. to find out if she has herpes on her vagina as well as her lips? Or I, yeah, I would actually like a little. I, I would like a little preamble of uh, just because somebody has herpes on. There. Or a thing on their lip. Like Rosie O'Donnell on TikTok always has this thing on her lip. And how, what's a polite way of asking, is that oral herpes? Or you just got a fucked up lip, Rosie? And or then, are you going to shoot into the audience with a slingshot? <laughs> <laughs> well, and then the next would be, you know, the, the curtain match the drapes is, does it, you know, does that go to your vagina? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, I would like for you to say, you know, just because there's something on your, your lip, uh, doesn't mean that you have, but you still want to know. But there's not really a good way to ask that. Like, it can't be like, do uh, the curtains right. match the drapes? And I think right. that right there is like that. Oh, yeah, the joke true. across. Yeah. Like, like mm-hmm. you obviously see that somebody has like an outbreak currently of herpes, but it does not necessarily mean that they have you know uh, vaginal herpes or whatever. So you're like, genital. oh, genital herpes. There we go. We we we. Uh, so I don't know. Curtain. So I guess I curtain guess curtain herpes. <laughs> The curtain herpes. The curtain herpes. The curpies. The old curtain herpes. Nugget herpes. That is. <laughs> versus drapies. <laughs> Venetian blindies. <laughs> Y'all are gross. Carpies. You, you have carpies or drapies? They're window dressings, like what you dip chicken nuggets in. <laughs> We're back to dressing well, again. Sorry. Mm, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, do you, do you, Rob Ryan, have an actual opinion about if, like, would you date some, would you feel comfortable dating somebody who has uh, cold sores, vaginal, genital, Venetian herpes or whatever? Like, is there, mm. di- is there a differentiation between those two? Is one okay and the other one's not? Are they both verboten? Like, what, how does Rob Ryan feel about that? Uh, I personally feel that I guess the best case scenario would be no herpes. um, Really? (laughs) (laughs) I assume that was sarcastic, but you really sold it, Jarrett. Thank you. (laughs) Acting. (laughs) Uh, No herpes would be would be choice number one, Mm -hmm. uh, followed by herpes of the mouth. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess followed by uh, genital herpes, followed by I guess both. Yeah, that would be my that would be my order. Uh, but rank <laughs> rank the herpes. <laughs> uh, but none of it, none of it would preclude me from from you know being with someone. I don't hmm. think you know if the outbreaks were like awful and just like getting in this person's way all the time, like that that would be yeah. Sad if it's and physically getting in your way, then that is a bad outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> you have to Excuse me, I need to get to the bathroom, honey. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the fridge. <laughs> Do you mind just moving your herpes for a second? <laughs> you said it was okay. You were okay with it when we first started dating. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to back my car out of this of the parking lot. Do you mind moving your herpes for a second? <laughs> God, this is so gross. You and know funny what's actually interesting? Time. <laughs> there is an argument to be made for herpes of the mouth. Okay, um, being but worse. No outbreaks. Than... No. Hmm? Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying I'm going to say the herpes of the mouth better than no herpes at all, and I'll mm-hmm. explain why. Uh, so you get herpes of the mouth, but you got it when you were a kid. You shared a drink, whatever, and you just don't get outbreaks. You just because most people don't get outbreaks regularly and the reason why is because what if you never never had herpes and then all of a sudden you get herpes but you just happen to be someone who gets herpes really really bad Mm. so you're dating this person you think it's great and then all of a sudden he gets herpes right and then it's just like every fucking month there's just like herpes everywhere and you're like oh my god i had i didn't know Everywhere, just constant. <laughs> and you're just like, I, what am I supposed to do here? You know. However, if you're dating someone who is like, oh yeah, yeah, I got herpes when I was a kid. I got this this outbreak once, and then I've never had it ha- happen again. That's probably the best case scenario because you know what the situation is. Yeah. No. So, Kristen, you're looking unconvinced, which is <laughs> kind of hard to believe because I'm I just... made a perfect point. Because <laughs> <laughs> some people can get herpes in a way where it it it's very recurring. But if you've yeah, gotten it and your immune system has uh, coped with it to the point where it's constantly suppressed, 
then yeah. you one are less contagious because you don't have the outbreak all the time. And two, it's just, you know, you don't have to deal with the other symptoms of like it, your immune system being weakened, et cetera, et cetera. I have a question. Yes, question. <laughs> yeah, I have a question. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, let's oh. see. Uh, quote Kristen in the front. <laughs> yes. I, I'm Kristen and I'm an alcoholic. Oh, different meeting. So, uh, <laughs> So uh, if a person had herpes as a child and now they don't really, it doesn't flare up or whatever, are they allowed to like have sex with people with herpes with no consequences or can they still get like double herpes? Is, I think Ooh, that's why I was that's confused by it. I'm question. like, does that mean that like they're like when people get COVID and think I'm immune from COVID because I had it once? Mm -hmm. it's, it's like the herpes thing. Got it. I don't know. Well, I, I, I believe I, that there's two types of herpes. There's, you know, there's, and I, I mean, I, I don't say this like, like there's this kind of there's this kind. I mean, like scientifically, they call it type one and type two. Mm -hmm. And you can get both on either. So you can get type one or type two on your mouth. You can get type one or type two on your genitals. And so if you have like type one and it's not that bad and suppressed, I guess you can still get type two and have that be different and have that be more recurring. But you can't get type one twice to make type two. <laughs> so I, think I think that's well, what Kristen's question was. I got type was. three. She said I double got herpes. I got a one and a <laughs> two. Herpes. Now I got type three. Yeah. If you, you get type two twice, thing. they cancel each other out, and then you have type zero. <laughs> I've got butthole herpes. <laughs> Do we have anything for Rob's first bit? Because I'm wondering stop if there's depressive. Well, well, I did actually like the stop depresses. Yeah. Well, what's the justification if, for this? Real quick, How before we do that, if you both have type one, then you might be in the clear. So that actually adds new credence to the phrase, oh, I think that girl's my type. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah. I've, uh, I've got one presses. more thing in case these first two are no-goes. And this is just a quick thing. It's almost over. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I, I still want to say it. like, is there anything? You're like, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so I said this to Jared too while I was on tour. I went to a urinal. I accidentally dropped a dime in the urinal. And now it just looks like the weirdest wishing well. <laughs> I was looking at it. I was like, oh, well, all right. I was hoping people start throwing I, quarters in there. It's like, I hope it's not kidney stones. <laughs> That's the joke is what do you wish for in a urinal? That's great. I wish bigger. I had my dime back. <laughs> <laughs> Usually there's really? no money in a urinal. It's like leave a pube, take a pube. Okay, this is... People can walk into a wishing well and take change. But they wouldn't do that in a urinal. So really, wishing wells should all be urinals to protect everyone's wishes. <laughs> wow, that's mm. like that's that. why I always pee in wishing wells. <laughs> <laughs> That'll learn you. <laughs> Shut up, officer. I'm protecting their wishes. I'm protecting their wishes. <laughs> I really thought you were saying like like the gangster phrase, I dropped the dime on a urinal. Like, you ran it on a urinal? <laughs> you're not allowed to do it to you. <laughs> Yeah, this urinal over here. Excuse That's me, funny. I think uh, I think one of the urinals in the bathroom is broken. What are you fucking snitch? What the fuck's the matter? With you gonna call the cops, motherfucker? Huh? Hey, meanwhile, if I leave a urinal and somebody sees that there's money in there, they're like, Jew. <laughs> they just pee change. They pee pennies. <laughs> I would say the opposite. If there's if there's money in every urinal except the one that you just went to, then you would go like, Jew. Uh, because yeah, I was, trying to, so much, I was trying to do I was trying to do a new it. stereotype that we pee money because that's funny instead yeah. of a really uh, anti-Semitic mm -hmm. one. Yes, that's where that's they hide fair. their gold in but. the golden shower. <laughs> that's where the Jews hide the gold. You're confusing uh, leprechauns <laughs> with Jews. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> 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 All right. Anything else for Rob? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, feels like we should move on. Ooh, uh, I, I don't think we had a lot for you, but I thought it was a great turn. I love this was. turn. I had <laughs> three <laughs> three uh, underwritten ideas that I, I got about. I love them. Thank yeah, you guys so much. Yeah, we threw some fat on that bone. I right. do think that, Rob, you can... I have this joke uh, that I will just say... No transition uh, after, you know, a series of things that relate, I'll say, sometimes I wonder if gynecologists ever watch porn and then pause it like, I got to email her. <laughs> and audiences just love the out of the blue, sharp. And I think that that is mm -hmm. such a silly thought that you could do the same thing with it. Got it. Yeah. Ooh, I, I know it's not your turn yet, Brett, but I did have a thought for that. Because there is a meme right now called I should call him or I should call her whenever you see something that is 
like, you know, if you see like a big eggplant, a girl will be like, I should call him like that. And so I should email her. Sounds like it's vaguely sexual. If it's a gynecologist, I want you to sign. I want you to professional it up a little bit. So oh, I need to call Mrs. Steinbrenner or whatever her name is, you know, the wife of the guy who used on the Yankees. I did not mean to make that name a thing. I just wanted to pick a <laughs> random name. Right. Does that make I mean, sense? Does my note make sense? Uh, your note would make sense if that, so- if that joke was not crushing every time I do it. Okay, fine. <laughs> Fuck you then. All right. I'm trying to help. <laughs> Way to stand up for I was, your joke. I, I was just that. giving, yeah. I was giving Rob an example of a joke that I know works almost 98% of the time so that I would be able to be like, but a math Brett, there's a mild TikTok trend going on right now that might muddy those waters. <laughs> I'm sorry, are we doing a show where we don't work on jokes? Where we just say a joke and then we don't workshop it? That when it's like our turn, show. when this it's our turn, we do the is workshop. The show where you do that, Brent. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't, is this anything? All right. I like the show. That was something. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, we've got Jarrett Berenstein. Oh, that me. was the least Berenstein. excited I've ever heard you say your own name <laughs> on this show. <laughs> I just feel like I've opened myself up to really harsh criticism after my little. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking coming for you, dude. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, on, in the interest your... of. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> in the interest of uh, trying to soften the blow, you know, this is a dumb idea that I don't think is very good. So, uh, you know, I like how companies will let you text with their customer service departments now so that you're not constantly on hold listening to hold music. But I don't like how sometimes I'll send a text and I won't hear back for a long time. Like I'm getting ghosted by Crate and Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> like now I'm questioning whether or not I came on too strong over text. I'm calling my friends like, so I texted that I never got the bowls that I ordered. They asked me for my order number. I sent it and I didn't hear anything back. Like, should I wait longer? Should I say something cute? <laughs> like, I don't want to look desperate, but I also want them to forget me. Then you finally hear back at like 2 a.m. Like, hey, you up? You hear about a President's Day sale? And I'm like, fuck you, Crate and Barrel. You only text me when you want something. What about what I want? What about the bowls I ordered? Uh, and that's my bit. What do you guys think? I like this bit. I love it. Mm-hmm. Open with it. No, I think- <laughs> <laughs> That's great. It's funny. It's funny. It's a funny bit. Thank you. I like it a lot. I want to hear the feedback of like what you would tell somebody like, hey, you just can't take any of this stuff personal. You don't know if uh, <laughs> if they ran into a different customer that they used to, you know, it could be yeah. it is maybe their maybe their their CEO came down and with the uh, COVID or you know, you just you just don't know. But you can't take it personally. That's really funny. I like that. Well, that's really what I want right now is like more of that world. Like I, I tried to include as much as I could, like the, the 2 a.m. text or the, you know, trying to like workshop it with your friends to try to figure it out. But anything else from that world of like when you're first starting dating somebody and you're, and you're texting and you're not sure, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I think you need to come on too strong at one point and just be like, I just texted like, hello. Like, (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) make sure they got, did you even get this last text or, you know, whatever. Yeah. Is there a way to to change like when when you get like when you just like fuck it and then you send like a thousand texts in a row like like yeah. what's the crate and barrel version of what are we or what are we doing here or something like that you know mm. well remind me what crate and barrel Oh, sorry. I was just saying you could give up and just call them instead and be like, <laughs> that's funny, Oh, no, yeah. never call. Oh, yeah. no. That's- <laughs> you show yeah, up like to the store. And hang up. Oh. He showed up to the store. <laughs> You're holding you're holding a boombox playing the cold the call waiting song. <laughs> yeah, you could just keep driving by Crate and Barrel over and over again. What what does Crate and Barrel sell? Like home, home goods. goods. Crates. Know, home goods. Okay. And barrels. Crates oh. and barrels. <laughs> Ampersands. <laughs> what if I go into a crate and barrel? I go, oh, so you, so you're open. You're open. Okay, that's so weird because because uh, I haven't heard anything. You that's know? funny. They're like, yeah. we're like, at our job. You're like, you're always at your job. <laughs> I feel like Crate and Barrel should be the name of the wash tub band that you have when you sing Big Little. <laughs> Pick up the crate, pick up the barrel. Oh, <laughs> crate and barrel and cracker barrel used to have a band together, but they broke up. Oh, oh. That's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> they kept the name. They kept the name, though. It used to be crate and cracker. They were the barrel brothers. Yeah. Was it that crate the barrel bros? Crate, cracker, and barrel used to be in a thruple. But then they <laughs> broke up, and now Barrel is still dating both of them. <laughs> it's the drummer. 
It's a real threes <laughs> company situation. Like, you're still dating crates? <laughs> <laughs> Does Cracker know? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh there's right. a sitcom right there. A barrel of thruples. <laughs> Thrupple in a barrel. Thrupple in a barrel. You know what I was looking at? in a barrel. Thrupple in a barrel. I was looking at... It's called uh, Barrel of Laughs. <laughs> what were you looking show. up, Brett? Uh, I was looking up Three's Company, the theme song, and I was like, imagine... I mean, just how much times have changed. They were like, okay, imagine two girls and a guy and none of them are dating each other and they live together it's a sitcom i mean <laughs> what a wacky situation to be in and i'm like that is just so something that could happen <laughs> okay and you, you give them that pitch and they're like to the roommates <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if you pitch three's company now it would be they would just be like Okay. <laughs> I like that. I like that your problem with it is that, and not the fact that it's like an inherently homophobic like premise. It's like Jack has to pretend to be gay in oh, order to, that, to let for them to the landlord to let him live there. And so, eighty percent of the jokes are the landlord coming over and Jack being like, "Hey," and everyone like That's laughs right. their ass I forgot off, about it. Know? That is more situational comedy. If the girls uh, had pretended to be but... gay instead, I would have watched the show more. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you say come that's, on, like, <laughs> now that's a pitch. That a pitch. <laughs> Mr. Roper's yeah. like, okay, everything's good. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Roper was like, I only let women live together if they're gay. And so they have to pretend to be gay with each other. Every time he shows up and they're like, oh, that's I guess our show. Scissor, yes. I guess. No, but, but actually the landlord like has to have a certain amount of like, quota for diversity so he like can only let a lesbian couple in uh, uh, I was picturing a me too guy that was like nah if you're living here me. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta see on, I gotta see curtain on curtain <laughs> <laughs> I wonder Shit. if a guy ever sees a lesbian he's like do the dra- the curtain does the, the carpet <laughs> match the carpet <laughs> <laughs> I like the stumble of this joke better, Brett, than the actual joke. Does the curtain... Wait, Brett. Do the wall Carpet. hangings match your flooring? Do you touch pussies? That's what I want to know. Yeah, does the curtain match your drapes is like if somebody can see that your eyebrows are a different color than your hair. <laughs> and you're like, no, it doesn't. I'm dying over here, yeah. I think we're All having right. a nice, fun, another non-productive turn. Yeah, we had a great. I, I feel like we did everything I wanted for this joke in the first like three minutes, and now we're just having fun. And, oh, that know. was the best. I've, I've, I've Ben and Steen. That was the best. <laughs> the best they have ever done this show <laughs> that I've been Steve? on. That was fantastic. Uh, it's a spicy Very meatball. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, God, I hurt myself laughing so hard. <laughs> what if um, instead of crate and barrel? It was a jelly donut. (laughs) (laughs) That was a call back to the first episode I was on. (laughs) Jelly donut. (laughs) That one's a deep cut for the fans. Deep dive. Yeah. Fans. Jelly donut. Thirteen-year-old boy. All right. So, uh, thanks everybody for your feedback. Thanks. We should. We should Mm. link. Uh, the other Kristen Key episodes. Uh, in this YouTube thing when we uh release it okay you can just have idea oh yeah sure that's a good idea <laughs> i mean well i mean you know whoever's editing it which might be me but I by link them do you mean that. make them touch carpets yeah, <laughs> yeah <it's> just... <laughs> uh, oh my God. should really scissor these episodes together <laughs> that's exactly what it is scissor these episodes. <laughs> oh, that's good all right thanks so much for your help with my bit everybody uh, next up, we got Kristen Key. But before we do that, just want to remind everybody that we got an awesome Patreon, patreon.com slash ITA pod. Lots of dope exclusive content on there. The sleepover, the high riding challenges, story time, Halloween episode, and others. So check it out. Patreon.com slash ITA pod. Next up, we got Kristen Key. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got All a right, moving ideas. on to Brett. Moving on to Brett. Of, we were Shouldn't scissoring be show. called stitching? Shut up, Brett. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, shouldn't scissoring be called stitching? Because you're together. Hmm. But I don't think that's you can come apart, do. though. Like stitching, you're together forever. Wait, you? Oh, I thought. 
<laughs> you guys, you thought I, thought you, had... I thought your wife is attached to you right now. <laughs> yeah, we can't Why see the bottom you? half. <laughs> Just two legs sticking up in the air. Let's She's embroidered steak. to my vagina. No. <laughs> Lesbian steak turn being upright. Like, oh, I got so much blood. <laughs> That's why we wear broomstick skirts. <laughs> Okay, like a, I have two ideas. Two ideas. Right. One of Woo. them we were we were loosely talking about before the show, and so I'm bringing it up again. On Marvel right now, on Disney Plus, they have the show called What If. So my idea is, what if everything only happened halfway? Like, what if Thanos only got half the Infinity Stones when he snapped his fingers? Would it would just make like all the women disappear? <laughs> <laughs> or what if Captain America only got half the serum and so now he just has like really big testicles <laughs> <laughs> but like what if Black Widow only got half of the box office sales she was going to pursue them okay that's idea number one idea number two uh, it's more close to home. My dad, my brother, uh, refused to get the, the COVID vaccine because they oh. were nervous of side effects. And they asked me if I'd had any. I was like, actually, I have had some side effects. One was I, I roll my eyes a lot. <laughs> incessant <laughs> eye rolling. Um, the other one's pretty big. It's, it's uh, like a COVID variant of schadenfreude where I get so excited <laughs> with someone non-vaccinated gets COVID. And I know that it's vaccinated related because I did not get this. Like when my grandpa got diagnosed with heart disease, I wasn't like, suck it, old man. <laughs> but when my dad came down with COVID, I was like, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my ideas. Thank you. Those are awesome. I have two, one for each. I think that the, the, the Thanos thing is super duper funny. But if Thanos stepped his finger and got rid of all the women, that would be half of the population which is what he was trying to do anyways so yeah, i think it'd be funny if it was <laughs> and like then the rest of the population would right. just come shortly after company remake <laughs> so we're not gonna do so it I think- will not be a woman <laughs> We're all gay, we're all gay, we're all gay. gay. Three company, company too. <laughs> everyone's gay, everyone's gay. Three company too. All right. Uh, I think what you said during the before we were recording when you when you sort of like hinted at this joke and you were like, does just get rid of half of all the owls or something? Yeah, I said I think ducks. You, I like that. ducks. Ducks yeah. oh, maybe ducks. Less. Oh, okay. Half Good. half the ducks is super funny. I like that. Uh uh, better than than all the women. You'd rather really get rid of ducks than women. Okay, <laughs> I might have an issue with women. <laughs> what? I like ducks better than women. What's the big deal? You throw I... bread for a woman? She don't need it. She <laughs> don't appreciate it. <laughs> Smile. The guy was just working with was talking. He did a joke about choking women, about women that like to be choked, mm-hmm. and I was like, "Wow, that sounds so fun." He goes, "You've never choked a woman." I was like, I, "I'm upset by how much I want to." <laughs> like, it makes me think I might have an. I don't want to choke a duck. <laughs> <laughs> women don't ever quack at me. <laughs> the first time ducks. that I I choked a lady, she was asking for me to do it, and I was like, "I don't know." Actually, the first thing was biting. She was like, bite me. And I was like, uh. And then I, I bit her neck. And then and uh, uh, she was like, harder. And I was like, uh. And then I bit. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and the same thing with choking. I was like, I, this feels wrong. And then I was like, oh, I see why you're into it. <laughs> Halfway putting, like, <laughs> putting that cigarette on her. I was like, this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was peeing on her. <laughs> oh, well. She's been unconscious for a while, but she said to keep going. <laughs> And I was burying the body. I was like, oh, sure? she's into it. You she's sure? Like, it was actually so kind of hot. <laughs> hey, I am so hard right now. <laughs> Sprinkling the lime in there. Uh, she's Francis also Scott. hard. Rigor mortis. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So glad this is all part of my joke. This is, <laughs> this is good. Yeah, you can incorporate any of this, Kristen. Yeah, whatever like. you want. The For second s- thing is ducks. when you when you said the eye roll thing. I think that. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think you need to connect that to when you hear people say that they're not vaccinated or they're not getting vaccinated. So like when you say I roll my eyes a lot more, it almost fe- seems like the side effect is that you become more like, I don't know, uh, uh, condescending. Whereas I think it's funnier if you roll your eyes more when people say they don't get vaccinated. 
So it's like I don't more mind condescending specific. being a side effect because that actually <laughs> might be true too. Condescension, mm-hmm. superiority. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. that was going to be my not suggestion, but just thought, which is, do you ever want to turn the joke on yourself a little bit? And if so, in what ways? That's, that's why Absolutely. I didn't mind eye rolling. I was like, oh, yeah. that's fun. Like, because, you know, it's it's one thing to go ahead and just be like, I'm better. But then it's, you know, you're, if you want to poke fun at yourself, you could like, are you like, you know, how much that's better? That's kind of the joke. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, this did come from the vaccination. And I, these, I don't want to have these thoughts. Like, I don't want to be like excited that someone came down with it. But that is the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, that I'm like, I find myself more excited when a non-vax person tests as positive. And that is never, I've never been that person, you know. Right. I I would clarify in that because there are some people who can't get vaccinated because they're immunocompromised and they they literally can't. But I would just clarify the people who are (laughs) against the vaccine because they think that, you know, they think that Bill Gates is microchipping them. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that you feel shot and freud for instead of just Mm -hmm. saying you want a non-vax person. Especially ICU babies. <laughs> <laughs> and can I add that I think part of the shot and forward, at least for me, is because their social media posts about not wanting to get vaccinated are generally so fucking condescending about just like I was like, these idiots don't do your research. OK, OK, take your vaccine, you fucking sheep. I'll be over here with my fucking dope ass immune system, you fucking idiots. <laughs> and then they get in there like, oh, God, can somebody get me some fucking dewormer? Because I'm so sick right now. <laughs> you know, and it's like, I, I, you really want me to fucking access my empathy for that human being who was telling me what a fucking idiot I was earlier? Ugh, mm-hmm. It's fucking hard, man. It's fucking real hard. Is, is that a joke? A there? German, That's how I is, feel. <laughs> no, I'm with you. Yeah. It's like, is there yeah, a German it's word for uh, Schadenfreude, but instead of feeling happiness, you feel rage? <laughs> shot and shot off. I think it's uh, I think it's I think it's pronounced Bechenstein. <laughs> a Bechenstein. A I did have a, a German person check me in for a flight once and said, "Okay, and here's your here's your ticket, Mister Bechenstein." And I was like, "Is that my name?" <laughs> Kristen, I was thinking uh, if you do the uh, one of the side effects is is uh, feeling superior, rightfully so. <laughs> uh, condescending uh, that, that'll kind of lead in and uh, if there are any unvaxxed people here condescending means uh... <laughs> okay yeah. all right anything Great else work, for everybody. Kristen key everybody um i did like i didn't hear ducks when you originally said it because i was late so ducks was uh, funnier though but mm-hmm. a ducks is funnier to me but i also think you could just do like gemini's or something like that or you could play with it more like i, I that's a whole world of opportunities uh, since it's like, you know, the, the different stones uh, affect different like elements completely. So like whatever you have so much room, it doesn't even have to be part of the population disappearing. It could be like there's just more socks in the world or something like that. It could be something completely ridiculous. Everyone yeah, loses a pinky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one <Yeah>. has eyebrows. <laughs> I I consistently love the fact that even though you're getting rid of half of the thing, it, it does not get rid of half of the result. It, it has far underwhelmed than just half. So like the full thing is the full thing, but just because you have half the serum only as testicles get larger, like I, that concept to me is just so profound. That oh, it's not, good. Okay. That it's not commensurate with that. So totally, mm-hmm. I did laugh at ducks. Maybe it was just because of the first thing that I heard, but I just love the funny word too. I got rid of ducks. Yeah, it's just a funny word. Great comedy so, word. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. God damn yeah, it, Berenstein. Sure. You were right. We should have been recording from the beginning. Mm-hmm. We should have been recording See? from the beginning. Which yeah. I blame See? Jared for. Mm-hmm. I blame uh, Rob you for. Had, you had the opportunity. I co-hosted you. You were the... When, how was I to know I was co-hosted? I tried recording fight, and said you fight, can't... Fight, 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 fight ducks. Where are you right ducks. now? I'm coming over, Rob. <laughs> oh, I'll be sitting here waiting. <laughs> I'm going to test this bit multiple times. I will let you know which word is funny, but we're going to start with ducks. All right. And then we're going to go right. with no eyebrows. Mm. And then we're gonna go with some herpes joke. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna start to say, with ducks. Is my that's how I began dating. <laughs> we're gonna start with ducks. We're gonna start with ducks. First, you oh. choke the duck, <laughs> then you choke the woman. <laughs> Francisco Eldorado had a, a a funny choking bit where he was just like, "This girl wanted me to choke her, you know, in bed," and he was like, "I'm Puerto Rican. I don't know how to fake choke." <laughs> <laughs> Steve's got a, a great joke about it too. He's like, How do you even discover that you like that? Like, uh, you're having sex, the pipe falls in your neck, and you're like, I enjoy this very much. <laughs> <laughs> a pipe. 
<laughs> All right. Nothing else for Kristen, right, everybody? Uh, no, great, we... great jokes. Great yeah, jokes, Kristen, Kristen Key. Key. Thank you. The legend, Kristen oh, Key. Can't Next up, we got... What were you say, Rob? I said, can't wait to have her on again. Can't Kristen wait to have her on again. I'm wearing my podcast glasses. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had no idea what that meant for a while. <laughs> And then for a second, I thought you were bending the frames. A very that confused me a lot. Like what? <laughs> I was like, "Is this a mask? What is going on?" <laughs> we wouldn't um, recognize her if she wasn't wearing the uh, the glasses. So yeah, I get it. Yeah, I understand. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The she's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's all that. <laughs> all right. Next up, we got Retro. She's all that. The remake. The remake where glasses make the girl prettier. Oh my god. <laughs> That's the only thing different. You got to put movie. her hair up instead of taking yeah. it down. Like, they put the overalls on her. I was thinking more of what Krista did. She's, she's got. She takes the glasses off. She's all cross-eyed and weird looking, and you're like, she's that. She, <laughs> she's that. <laughs> All She's right. in fact that. <laughs> Is this offensive to lesbians where there's a lesbian version of She's All That, but you are putting on glasses and overalls? <laughs> I know. Like, what? That Who is the lesbian version? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that lady? <laughs> I never even noticed her before. <laughs> Put those glasses on and that jacket. <laughs> oh my god. She walks by a wood shop, all the women are like, what? <laughs> all Who's right. That girl or Next boy? up, we got <laughs> Brett Truck, everybody. Brett Truck. All right. Um, oh boy. I should have pulled this up. <laughs> all right. Rob, say some go. more offensive things about lesbians while Brett's been ready. <laughs> no, no, I got it. I got it. I got, it. I got the pass. <laughs> I don't think it should be called zippering, not scissors. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I'd have one ready to go, did you? Try? I certainly didn't. I certainly didn't. <laughs> All right. You guys ready now? Yeah. Yes. Here we go. Uh, this is my joke that I am working on. <laughs> Oh my god, what are Uh, those? (laughs) When people say that they like surprises, what they really mean is they like good surprises. I found that out the hard way with my ex. She told me she likes surprises, and then she was like, you said you were going to be on time. And I was like... (laughs) Wait, you say this is your closer, Brett? I don't see it. I don't get it. (laughs) No, this is a good joke. This is a good bit. I like it. I like this. Solid. It's true, too. It's very true. I wonder if, because because your style, I feel like normally wouldn't clue me into this idea that it's going to be a bad surprise, you know, like like that you might revel in the idea of being like, <clears throat> um, my ex girlfriend said that she likes surprises, and then and then just through the act out, you've shown that it was a bad surprise. Mm, I like that. Uh, I, I actually yeah, I agree that would be more my style, and I, I enjoy that. I would just miss the second step, so it'd be like my girlfriend likes surprises. Then something, and then she's like, "I thought you said you were going to be on time." Maybe yeah, it was like, yeah, "Oh, yeah. when, when, when it like for example, when it was her birthday, she was like, I thought you were going to be on time.'" And I was yeah. like, "Ah, right, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, like your there's confusion there." But I don't know. I don't know if that's true. You know, like, <laughs> right? It doesn't seem like yeah that like you're you're calling it into question. You're calling it. In, in, uh, you, you, there's some doubt, and you're like, why is there doubt? Oh, yeah, because you fucked in, it up. Yeah, intonation. My girlfriend says she likes surprises, but mm. at her birthday party, she was yeah. like, "I thought you were gonna be on time," and I was like, uh, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah. Well, what about you? Didn't get me anything for my birthday. <laughs> <Ta-da>! <laughs> <laughs> now it's a surprise party. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I. I I don't know if this is too, I don't know, on the nose, hack, predictable, too far, whatever. But my girlfriend said she'd like surprises. But when she found me in bed with her sister, she was not happy about that or something like that. Mm, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's a little too too much, I feel like. Sweet. Uh, I, th- I think the, I would just, I would lose the audience. <laughs> yeah. uh, my girlfriend said that she loves surprises and didn't like choking. <laughs> Boy, was she surprised. <laughs> 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 That is really funny. That's a great... <laughs> uh, again, it's something I think wouldn't like. I need to. I think already the problem in this joke will be that I'm kind of being a dick, and so it's not a redeeming mm-hmm. uh, payoff. 
if I can make her a little more of an asshole somehow in the setup or something like that, yeah. or if I can justify choking her all of a sudden, then I think the audience will be on my, my side. And I've had this problem with jokes before where I just like, I have to, the person kind of has to be nasty to me. And then when I have this clever turnaround, Lady, it's kind of me. Be nastier to Brett. <laughs> Fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, get her, so choke her, do so it. Now I just choke her. She guys would be like, "Oh, that's hilarious!" That's funny. Yay, <laughs> choke her! Yay! Uh, a, play, a play off Kristen's joke. My girlfriend said she loves surprises and hates butt stuff. So for her birthday, <laughs> boy, was she surprised! <laughs> I'm taking that. Never mind. That's mine now. <laughs> Uh, I'd also like to keep it uh, clean. I'm trying to write a little bit more clean stuff now. Mm -hmm. um, you can write a clean butt stuff joke. Yeah, just wipe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <sighs> if you want to keep it general, it doesn't have to be your girlfriend, though. It's like people say they love surprises, but mm. <laughs> people say they love butt stuff. But everybody says they love surprises, but, and then you can just like surprise someone else. So the problem wasn't that it was specific the problem was that it was still about butt sex oh okay sorry. <laughs> but that you people think it's a different problem people it only surprises. <laughs> but when the world got butt stuff for me <laughs> when i butt fucked a lot of people without them knowing Thanos snapped his finger and nobody got butt fucked uh, I have one more joke if you guys uh, are good on that one. Yeah, I just yeah. wanted to say uh, butt stuffed pizza, but I don't have any for that. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been wanting to say that the whole episode, not even yeah. right now. The whole episode? It's like yeah. training day. The whole, whole time? Whole week. <laughs> I don't know how That's... to draw that. <laughs> butt stuffed pizza? What it's a butt stuffed pizza, Pierre. That's a wheel of fortune before and after. <laughs> yes. <laughs> stuffed pizza. <laughs> Is it like, are you going for like the cheesy crust? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the crust stuffed pizza. But instead of crust oh, okay. stuff, it's butt Cheese stuffed. stuffed. It's just stuffed a bit crust. Extra, just stuffed a bit crust. Extra for yeah, that. stuffed crust, right. They shove the stuffed pizza butt. up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a marvel. What if? What if? Pizza <laughs> Hut. Just shove the pizza up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> pizza. Yeah, this got more legs than I thought. But there's still ducks. <laughs> <laughs> mm, guys, you guys stop making me laugh so hard. I'm dying over here. Um, I, you know what? I think I'm just going to call my turn there. Uh, we had a blast. Thank you guys. I'm surprised. Oh, that a good surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Boo. I hate surprises. Boo. <laughs> All right. Excellent work, Brett. And you know what, man? You know what this means, guys. That I didn't what? have time to draw a butt pizza. That's what it means. <laughs> Thank oh, God. Oh shit, Jesus lady, Christ. draw faster. Uh, I'm After not able to After we you. do our bits, uh, it's yeah. time it. for Leedy to draw those bits. <laughs> and here come the Leedy Doodles, Leedy Doodles. First Here we go. Have... Oh, doodles. <laughs> <laughs> All the poetry in the world goes disappears. <laughs> All the turtlenecks are gone. <laughs> Next, I have Rob and his basket of joy. <laughs> I wrote door. I wrote door. <laughs> uh, then I have. Bad. I know he has gold. Gold in that. Does he a Jew? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> then I have I a got a big of my belly sandwich on a fridge. I love Jared's face in this too. <laughs> <laughs> so and also I'm starting to get why Steve got annoyed by this. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna be old to me. It's so good. I think I have an addition to your joke. No! <laughs> 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 Jared looks like a pastor here. <laughs> yeah. pastor. That looks like the guy who wanted to pray for you in your pants. <laughs> in your sleepover, Rob. Remember. Um, then I have stitches get bitches. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's so horrifying. horrifying. Yeah, it's really horrifying. It is a bit scary. <laughs> I'm sewing I some girl it. with high heels to my crotch. What's horrifying about that? <laughs> it's like a lesbian human centipede. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine how much they're coming during that? <laughs> <laughs> 
Then I have yeah, Captain <laughs> Nugget. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait now a minute. Now the joke's funny. Hold it here. Hold it here. Because even though the serum only gave him giant testicles, they still put him out there and had him do war. <laughs> still made him a superhero. Even though the Are serum only me? gave him giant <laughs> nuts. Dude, if you were on, on what are they, Cobra? What's the bad guys, Cobra? No, it's uh, no, Hydra. 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 If you were on Hydra and you saw that guy, you would run. <laughs> Captain America? Yes. He would slowly waddle after you. <laughs> oh, my yeah, God. I, I did see you zoom in on the, uh, the, the logo, the emblem. It's yeah, great. the logo has changed. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know. He doesn't use the shield so much, but now he has web shooters. So, <laughs> well, I was gonna say he doesn't throw the shield; he just uses it to cup his balls, so that he doesn't. You know, it's easier to walk with him. The web shooters is great. Yeah, yeah he's like Spider Man now. <laughs> I regret this, or I'm so so proud. Um, <laughs> uh, last but not least, I have nuggets according to Jerry. <laughs> what is, is going it. on there? You should be so uh, proud. Those excellent job, Lee. Thank you. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, follow Lady at Lady Corbin, patreon.com slash Lady Corbin, Lady Corbin.com. And Kristen Key, where can people check you out? I have a website. It's called KristenKey.com. Um, you can go to all my social media on Instagram. I'm the Kristen Key. Everywhere else, I'm Kristen Key Comedy. But go to my go to my website and you can find everything. I've got a weekly live show on Fridays it's called Friday Live at Five. Uh, with like music and fun and games and stuff. And I have a weekly podcast called Kristen Knows Blank. So check out all that stuff. And I'll be back here as soon as they'll have me. And, Hell and yeah. Check out uh, uh, li- the, what is it? Friday Live? Fri- Friday Live, live at five. Yeah. Friday Live at five. Check it out because she might sing about your relationship. <laughs> <laughs> and you just have to tune in and find out. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Aaron is fighting with his fiance. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that lovely song. That was awesome, Kristen. Oh, I love you guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming yeah. on. Great All episode. All right. And thank you for watching, everyone. Someone say it. Outro Goldie. Outro Goldie. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Check back every Monday for new episodes, or you can listen wherever you enjoy podcasts. If you want to help support the show, tell your friends how much you like Is This Anything. Or get involved, like an episode, share, comment, subscribe. If you want more Is This Anything, you got to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash ITAPod. We have a ton of awesome exclusive content on there, and you can join for as little as a dollar a month. Check out the links in the description, and hopefully we'll see you next week.